Hi, my name is Will Hibbs. I have been taking lessons with hardball with Richie Beard for past eight or nine years since I was in seventh grade. I went to uh, Friendswood High School where um, I ultimately graduated and earned a scholarship to Lamar University and was able to pitch four years there and um, was fortunate enough to get drafted my senior year by the Philadelphia Phillies in the 19th round and I finished out this past season, the 2016 season. I'm about to embark on my 2017 spring training um, start of the season uh, for my first full season. Main thing I want to talk about with hardball was, um, you know, a couple of main points that I took away over my um, over my tenure here. Um, the main thing was, you know, body awareness. I'm I'm a I'm a big guy. I, you know. I filled out to about six foot seven, you know, but when I started I was five, you know, five seven, five eight, with no body control. I was a little fluffy and trying to figure out what my body was doing at what points and that was really nice that uh Richie was able to work with me about my, my body awareness and mechanics and really getting in tune to make those fine adjustments to ultimately hone in closer to the strike zone every pitch. Um and what what comes with that is all the uh, pre-pitch routines and narrowing your focus and being able to dig in your your mental toolbox between each pitch to uh, have your have your pre-pitch routine and see exactly what you're going to throw and execute that pitch time and time again. So that way, uh, when it, whenever you take the mound, you're confident with facing whatever batter in whatever situation, whether it's the start of a game with nobody on and no outs, or if you're getting brought in the seventh, eighth, or ninth inning with base loaded, it's a pressure pack situation. But he's really given me the uh, mental fortitude to handle those situations with much less pressure. Another big aspect that um, Richie and Hardball has been able to instill into me was um, goal setting, where where a lot of you know 12, 13 year olds are just wanting to grab the ball and get on the mound and you know throw it as hard as you can, or not not really having a distinguished purpose with what they're going to do with each pitch, each game, each season, each year. And uh, one of the most beneficial exercises that Coach Ritchie and I did, you know, from Jump Street way back when, was we wrote down. Um, you know, goals for each year, you know, each season with, with each pitch sometimes. It, it's, hey, I want to get better at locating this fastball to, to the outer half, or I want to get better with locating my curveball or establishing good feel with the changeup. And it doesn't have to be with pitching. It can be something with um, your, your, your physical fitness, your strength numbers, your, um, your academics in the classroom, anything that will help progress your future, your career, um, into a better position than, than you were the year before because they have a saying here that I've really taken to heart is that if you don't have any goals you're just sweating and like I said when I was 12 or 13 I didn't really quite understand that I just you know was going to a lesson and working out but looking back on it by the time I started to understand it you know freshman and sophomore year of high school it became evident that it was placing me away from the rest of the group I was able to um, have more success a little bit quicker because I had I was more, more goal oriented and knew what I was trying to do and ultimately it made me a better baseball player, pitcher, and person because you can apply it to other aspects of life outside of baseball. One of my uh, biggest takeaways from the handful of years I, I trained and uh, spent here at Harbaugh was uh, Coach Ritchie's Velocity Enhancement Program where um, you want to see, you know, jumps in velocity and start throwing harder and um, a lot of programs do this but I think Coach Ritchie's doing it the right way in the sense of it's not just about lighting up the radar gun, it's about strengthening the uh, the muscles surrounding the shoulder joint, the decelerator muscles, doing it in a healthy way, in a sustainable way so that way your arm can keep up with it and you increase at a gradual and healthy rate to where your body allows yourself to throw harder whereas it's not just a quick acute burnout and ultimately leading to injury it's sustainable um, I never took a step backwards and I firmly believe it's because we did this the right way with all the bands and tubing and uh, 
functional fitness stuff as well as the the different types of weighted balls and uh you know loaded balls versus unloaded balls and doing everything the correct way with the program that he's set forth and I, I'm not the only one. There's been plenty of success stories behind it, but I jumped from 81, 82 to 88, 90 in the course of eight months. And sure, there was some there was some physical maturedness in that span, but it was mainly due to my you know my mechanics syncing up through this velocity enhancement and me really being able to understand my um, spatial awareness physically as well as my muscles developing and uh, mechanics syncing up through this velocity enhancement program and I, I never had an arm injury. Uh, I felt fluid the whole time. I never thought I you know, progressed too quickly to where I was sore the next day and didn't want to do anything uh, because I was scared of being hurt. Everything, I, I was excited to come in each day because I knew we were going to be getting better and that even meant, I, I knew that um, on certain days, if I threw hard Monday, Wednesday, and it was a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday class, on Thursday, we were taking it easy on the workload, and we would focus more on the mechanical efficiency back to the goal setting, narrowing your focus or something of that nature, because, you know, Coach Ritchie knew that doing too much too often would ultimately lead to arm injury, so we, we, we did it the right way, and... Um, I firmly believe, like I said, that that is um, a, a testament to him as a coach and as a person, knowing that it takes time and um, understanding the pitching world and mechanics. Um, I I really do believe that that has what was a played a big proponent in me being the pitcher I am today, and I still use. Um, the drills, the the thoughts, the stuff that uh, Coach Ritchie has instilled in us as the, the players, I still use those tools today as a professional pitcher. And I, I can't thank him enough for um, everything he's taught me, whether it's baseball or non-baseball related. Baseball is a, a, a huge tool about teaching about life um, with all the ups and downs and learning how to limit the lows and riding out the highs and uh, having a short memory, which is big, especially as a bullpen pitcher, because each day is a, a new day. But um, as I said, I, I attribute much of my success to Coach Ritchie and, and Hardball Academy.